Wondering what website platform to choose for your product-based business? This video is for you. I'm Shelly, owner of Launch Party, an e-commerce design studio, and creator of Shop School. I've been a website designer for over 10 years, and I have used all of the platforms. I first started with Dreamweaver in college, and then Joomla for my first professional website at a magazine company I worked at, and then next I went into WordPress, which was pretty new at the time, and I used that for my own website. I used mostly WordPress, sometimes Squarespace, for my freelance clients. And then a few years ago, I had a client ask me about doing a website for her jewelry business. Shopify was on my radar and I knew it was a really good choice for product-based businesses, so I wanted to try it. And when I did, I realized it was by far the best platform for e-commerce. Let's compare all three main platforms, Shopify, Squarespace, and WordPress, and I'll talk about the pros and cons of each. But first, let's talk about what a website platform even is. A platform is a way to build your website. It really simplifies it because otherwise building your website would just be a bunch of files. So it makes it where you have an interface that you can interact with. You have a dashboard and an area that you are going to be putting content into so that then you can have a website on the other side. Let's start with Shopify. Shopify is built specifically for e-commerce. So everything about the platform revolves around selling your products. With Shopify, you can sell any kind of product. You can sell physical products that you'll be shipping, drop ship products that someone else will ship for you, or digital products. There are truly so many reasons why I love Shopify, starting with the fact that big brands use Shopify. And that's really important because it means you don't have to switch to the better e-commerce platform after you hit a sales threshold or some other milestone in your business. You will already be on the best e-commerce platform that you can be on. Here's some of the brands that are on Shopify, and this is just a small selection. Shopify is more than equipped to handle your business. I think the fact that there are so many big brands on Shopify might make some people feel like it may be a really expensive platform, but it's actually not. It's very accessible. Their basic plan is $29 a month, and that's what most of my clients and shop schoolers are on. Another reason why Shopify is just hands down the best is that it integrates with everything. So with Shopify, you can actually sell on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, Google Shopping, and more. You can also sell in person with point of sale and everything is managed within your Shopify inventory. So if you are someone that is marketing your business with social media and you're not able to link your products because you're not using Shopify, that's something you're really missing out on. And with Shopify, you have access to the Shopify app store. So that means you can expand the functionality of your store to do just about anything. Some examples are cross sells, upsells, back in stock notifications, referral programs, membership programs, loyalty programs, affiliate programs, more advanced shipping, really just about anything. You can add it to your Shopify store. Next, Shopify has such amazing customer support. They're available 24 seven and I talk to them all the time. They're actually very helpful. And it's so nice being able to reach people at Shopify and they can look directly at your own store. So to recap the main pluses of Shopify, it's that it's built for e-commerce. Big brands use Shopify, so you have no limit. The app store, so you can do almost anything to your store. All of the integrations, Shopify support, and that it's a good monthly price. Okay, so what do I not like about Shopify? I used to say that the online store builder was a negative of Shopify because it was hard to really customize, especially if you have a more unique vision and you wanted to do something that didn't look like the theme. But now with Online Store 2.0, which Shopify just started rolling out last summer in 2021, things have changed. The Online Store customizer is so much easier to use. You can now create custom page templates, custom collection templates, and product templates so easily, all just within the customizer itself. It's actually pretty hard for me to think of a real negative of Shopify. The main thing would just be if you don't sell products, then Shopify would not be for you. But if you do, it is. Next, let's talk Squarespace. 
So Squarespace is really great for informational websites specifically. It does have an e-commerce component, but it just simply does not have the features. It just does not stack up next to Shopify for that. But it does have a really nice, easy drag and drop editor for making informational websites. The cost is pretty comparative to Shopify. Squarespace is great for service-based businesses who don't necessarily have a ton of content and don't sell products and want something really easy to use. And lastly, let's talk about WordPress. So WordPress is a bit of a different beast. It's not a platform in the same way because it is self-hosted. So WordPress itself is free, but then you have to put it on your own hosting. So you have to find your hosting and your domain and connect that all together. For some people, just that step alone might be too much of a barrier to use WordPress. But WordPress really excels at content management. Content management is the main feature of WordPress. So if you have a lot of blog posts or articles or pages, it can be a really great platform for that. I use WordPress still for Launch Party's website where I have pages about my services and my blog. And it works great for me. Where WordPress is not my favorite is the fact that it requires a fair amount of maintenance. So since WordPress is self-hosted, that means you have to manage your security. You have to manage your updates for your plugins and your theme, and it can just be a lot of work. So it's helpful to either have some web savviness yourself if you're going to manage your own WordPress or to hire someone who does. If after watching this video, you've decided you want to use Shopify, yay, I'm excited for you. And I have a free workshop that you can watch all about how to sell more with Shopify. So make sure to sign up for that at shopschool.live. The link is also in the video description here. And subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about Shopify.